Hello, this is NixComputerFix.com, and here's a quick video on how to install CPU-Z in Windows 10. Okay, to start with, let's go ahead and open up an internet browser of your choice. I'm going to open up Google Chrome, and once I have it open, I'm going to go ahead and type the word CPU-Z, and as I'm doing that, it predicts what I want, and in the list, it says CPU-Z, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then it gives me a list of the links that it found when it did the search and the first one says CPU Z and I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and that opens up the download page for CPU Z from CPU ID and here's the URL address if you want to make note of it and go directly here and once you are on this page, if we scroll down a little bit, we have four choices to download. Um, we have English.exe, um, we have English.zip, we have Chinese.exe, and Chinese.zip. I'm going to go ahead and download the first choice here, setup.exe in English. And that opens up the next page, and under Download CPU Z, it gives me the version number that is available, and it's normally the latest. And if I click on Download Now in Google Chrome, down on the left hand corner here, it uh, shows me the progress. And it's relatively quick because it's a small file, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I get this prompt do I want to run or cancel so I'm gonna go ahead and click on run and then Windows 10 will give me a user account control prompt do you want to allow this app to make changes and I'm gonna say yes and that will initiate the installation of uh, CPU Z on my computer here let me go ahead and minimize the browser so we can see this more clearly and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on next now I do suggest that you read the uh, license agreement and once you do um, go ahead over here and uh, you know click on I accept the agreement and then click next and I'm gonna take the default next and then I'm gonna take this default as well now up here it says create a desktop icon I definitely do if you don't uncheck it I'm gonna click next all right, I'm all set, and I'm going to click on Install, and it only takes a few seconds, literally, to install this program. Now, you can uh, click on Finish and read the README, um, but I don't want to, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish. And once I do, it created a icon on my desktop for CPU-Z, and I'm going to go ahead and double-click it. And once I do, I get a prompt from the user account control center and do you want to allow this app to make changes and I'm going to say yes and that will open up CPU Z on my desktop that quickly gives me access to an abundant amount of information on my processor my caches my motherboard my memory on my motherboard um, my SPD on my memory also my graphics adapter and then I have this nice little tab called bench where I can run some stress tests on my CPU and then over to the right here the last one I have about obviously gives me the version number and some additional information as well now down here under tools um, there's some additional apps or utilities like I can uh, check for driver updates and check for bias updates as well as well as validate and close the app alright um, that's the end of this tutorial subscribe and like my video